So we're heading out over uh, the Purbex today. We got Rob Wiggins, John Reed, Julie, myself, and Kev Cross. Let's see what the day brings. Sandy. Fat bike for this one. Agleston Rock. We're going to have to visit there one day because I believe there's a bit of a story behind it. So, a couple of skin knees and um, S SPD moments later, and we're at uh, what's locally known as uh, Frank's Tank. And of course, you know, you can't climb on top of it, have you? <laughs> it's a photo op, anyway. <laughs> some pretty gnarly single track there, some loose rocks and uh, what have you. Julie had it uh, over the bars. First time ever. Never seen her do that before, so. Uh, yeah, a little bit gnarly in places, but uh, here comes the wind. Back out into the open and um, yeah, luxury gravel. I know it, that last little bit will be no problem. Until next time, my friend. I only stopped to photograph, obviously. Oh, cool. <laughs> 40 feet to go, no problem. We got ourselves a bike tree. Oh, and now we're going for a bike tree with selfie. Like we're heading into Corf Castle there to go to the cafe and a bit of performance cake. Onwards. is about. Yeah, I think the farmer down there has just let a bull out and that's what all the fuss is. <laughs> Well, Julie's mech hanger's bent a little bit. 
Actually, it's gone through the ringer a bit and looks like the cage is a bit out of shape. So uh, we'll see what we can do out on the ride and then get it on the rack later. That white track going up the hill there. I've ridden up that. Bloody crazy looking at it from here. After that one, the climb continues, but you have the mercy of the shade. Every time you stop for a gate, there seems to be another uphill. Can't get any momentum, but that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of what you come over here for because it is hard. I tell you, I love these dry stone walls. Just the simplest technology, but you know, the strength is in the craftsman who puts it together. They just last for years and years and years. Nothing holding them together other than gravity. There you go. You, uh, you get it from the route master himself. This is why I Check that out. The Jurassic Coast. Well, that's it, we're at the top, we're at Grange Arch. I don't think we can get any higher. I'm sure there's a story behind it, but I don't know what it is, so. <laughs> All downhill from here, let's hope. Well, it's kind of got to be because this is you know, the highest point. So. going on over here and then you look down a track well I think there's a trail through there somewhere there will be in a minute well I suppose it had to come but uh, anyway I've fallen off I hurt myself quite badly actually but um, I don't know if you can see but there's a big trough there at the side of the at the side of the trail and of course my front wheel went straight in it so got uh, a little bit of that going on and um, landed on sort of a kidney area on the ground. 
ground there and uh, yeah, stunned me for a bit. There was a bit of a <laughs> going on for a while there, but uh, anyway, in the middle of nowhere, so I've got to get back on my bike. Simple as that. Let's go. So anyway, we've just had a swift half in the square and compass. Quick sherbet to get us on our way, and um, here we go again. Apparently John's got his got wind after eating drinking his cider. So it uh, looks like we're back to talking about farting on a bike again. Seems to be a feature recently. So this is it, back on the uh, back of Studland and uh, going across part of the Rempstone loop back towards the uh, ferry. We're just going to chill out on the tarmac before we get on the ferry and then down the beach. There's John. <laughs> John doesn't do road, so uh, yeah, he's on the side there. So that's it, we're done. Back on the ferry, fill it up, we'll be on our way in a minute. So, so. It's been a hot day, but actually, a really good ride. Yes, I have my little off and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm going to feel that in the morning. I don't know what I've done, but um, anyway, yeah, right on the kidney hip area there. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I think it's just bruised and I'll get over it. Car and LI going out. I hope they're practicing and not actually having to rescue somebody. 